You might be wondering why I'm so clear and so firm when it comes to not associating with people who refuse to ever take accountability when they hurt you, who refuse to ever say sorry. For me, it's very simple, okay? None of us are perfect, we are all flawed, but as long as we're able to be aware of ourselves and to hold ourselves accountable or to hold other people accountable, then we're always becoming better people. So for me, it's as simple as this. I draw a line in the sand between unconditional love and conditional love. Under unconditional love, you have qualities like integrity. That ranks really high. Having integrity, doing the right thing, okay? Honesty, vulnerability, accountability. Under conditional love, you have people who refuse to ever take accountability. It's very convenient for them to make you appear to be the crazy one. As they sit back, it's very easy for them. Like they're sitting back and you look crazy, right? And they're not feeling your pain because they're not helping this planet. People who want to help this planet will understand that you're not angry because you're angry. You're angry because your feelings aren't being heard and they will support you in that. If they hurt you, they will say, I'm really sorry I wasn't able to show up for you. Show me how, teach me how. Let's get to a better place so that we can heal as people. The problem, right, with people who are operating under conditional love is they always want to fit you in a tiny little box. We're going to get along fine as long as you keep it on the surface, right? And when you hold me accountable, no, 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 I didn't do anything. Or I'm going to gaslight you like crazy. That isn't helping the planet. That's called emotional bypassing. People who refuse to ever address their trauma are not going to change. So they're hurting this world. They're not helping this world. And that's not a judgment. It means that they're not ready. They're not ready. I want to be in relationship with people who are aware of themselves. I don't expect them to be perfect. I'm not perfect. But when I mess up, I'm willing to clean it up. I don't have pride. I'm willing to say, yo, that was really messed up. I'm sorry. Okay, I'm doing my best. I'm still working on my trauma and so on and so on. A lot of people aren't like that. So the reason why I'm so steadfast in this belief or in this principle is because if I'm involved with people who never take accountability, I'm essentially saying it's okay to hurt the world. It's okay to emotionally bypass. It's okay to not grow and evolve. It's okay to keep hurting each other and to not acknowledge each other's pain. And I don't want to collude with that. I know what I serve, I know what I stand for, and I stand for unconditional love. And that's all. Unconditional love means none of us are perfect, but we're all working towards it. We're not afraid to feel our stuff. We're not afraid to do the work. And we're here, fundamentally, we are here to do the work, to feel our emotions, to address the trauma, to drop our pride, to release our shame, to release our fears, and we can do this together. So if you're not on uh, the camp of unconditional love, I want nothing to do with you, not because I don't love you, but because there was a time in my life where I was shutting down. There was a time in my life where I wasn't emotionally available. And it's through people letting me go that I finally woke up. People had to let me go to go, why am I alone? What, what do I need to address? If they had stuck around, they would have been saying, it's okay for you to keep mistreating us. It's okay for you to keep ignoring what we're saying. It's okay for you to invalidate our feelings they wouldn't have been real friends. So love loves you from afar sometimes. Love waits for you until you tip over and you decide I'm, it's time for me to become aware. It's time for me to make a contribution to this world because emotionally bypassing is only hurting this world. And if you're emotionally bypassing, I'm not interested in having a relationship with you. I will wait for you when you're ready, all right? But I'm only moving in one direction and that direction is going up, it's not going down. People who emotionally bypass will never hold space for you, okay? They'll never take accountability. Even if you're screaming, right? People think that you scream because you're crazy. No, you're screaming because your feelings aren't being heard. So even if you're yelling, these people, they'll, they'll, they'll make you out to be the bad guy because it's convenient for them. I don't want people like that in my life. People like that are dangerous because being unconscious is dangerous. Being unaware is dangerous. So I don't want to associate with people like that because I used to be one of those people. And sometimes when people let you go, you finally wake the fuck up.